What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to Boo TV. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified whenever we upload a new video. The Los Angeles Lakers just celebrated a victory at home, 126 to 108 against the Denver Nuggets. Our boy Russell Westbrook had a fantastic game. Off the bench, logged 30 minutes, had a triple double, 15, 11, and 12. Four turnovers and a plus 25 in the plus minus box. Let's take a look at these Russell Westbrook highlights. Good rebound, good pass by Russ to LBJ. Easy put back. That's where the Denver Nuggets have been successful this year. They lead the NBA in post-ups and points off of post-ups per game. Great pass to AD. Russ's passing has been phenomenal as of late as well. Averaging nine assists per game. Good defense, Russ. Poking the ball away, stripping him from behind. And he draws the hit. We know how Russ likes to do, get in the paint, try to try to catch a foul, and finish at the same time. Speed, dude, just put the just put the nitrous on his ass. Straight to the basket. Westbrook. Straight to the basket. Oh bank. He be I knew that was bank. He'd be liking that bank shot, bro. Especially from right there. That's a, that's a hard bank shot to hit too. Give him the distance. But he, that's one of his go-tos. Second option was getting rid of the rock. Out to Matt. Most productive play. Pocket pass by Murray. Joker couldn't get it. Here's Westbrook. They got a three on one. Over to LeBron. And he lays it home. Good pass. You know, I credit Russ there for actually going for the layup instead of Reeves in the corner three. I hate when players run fast breaks and will pass on a layup for a, for a three point shot. Boggles my mind. Good screen there. Pass, he's gonna go to his post move, I'm sure. A little hook shot, yeah, a little baby hook right there. Short handed going small where LeBron is being tasked to defend Joker. And he got the stop. Russ pushing it. Westbrook in flight. Good left hand. Good left hand. Schroeder with the three. And they'll get another chance. Seven on the clock. Westbrook inside. Shooter again. Bang. Bang, bang, boogie. Lake is strictly staying high screen and roll, putting whoever their defender of choice is in the action. What's he going to I was going to say, what's he going to do? Rock the baby? Good. Sticking with, sticking with it right there. The, the other player actually created that opportunity for Russell Westbrook to get the other. Another rebound. And Suns Nuggets cap the night. Every year, some of the association's best matchups. Brown missed Good rebound. Westbrook. Snatching that, man. Snatching that. Give me that board, boy. I'm a triple double king, baby. It's going to be a bank shot. Westbrook with the fadeaway. That's his shot off glass. Taking advantage. Joker on the post up. Missed the layup in traffic. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Good pass. Good pass. Russ was really facilitating in that fourth quarter and making the plays. Pushing it, pushing it. Good lob. Westbrook with the assist. Shot clock already down to eight. Good pass to LeBron. Great finish by LeBron. Very talented folks who never get a chance to Russell Westbrook has his paws in like every single nice meaningful play here in this fourth quarter, whether it's the assist, whether it's the bucket, whether it's the rebound. Really, 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 really good game by Russ. And I know, you know, if they, if they talk about this game in the mainstream media or whatever shows, whatever, LeBron James, per the norm, is going to get a lot of the credit for this game. And don't get me wrong, LeBron had a great game. 30 points, 13 for 20 shooting, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, uh, 2 turnovers. LeBron had a great game. But I just feel like Russell Westbrook won't get mentioned or will get lightly brushed over. And the dude really did impact that fourth quarter, man. He really did. They needed that energy. They needed that hustle. They needed that tempo pushed. Getting those players out in a fast break. Uh, penetrating. Uh, quickly dishing to the open man for the spot-up jumper. And Russ getting the rebounds. You know, a lot of other people get to get those rebounds if they don't if they don't push it up 
via pass. They're not always just going to push it themselves. But the minute Russ gets that rebound, it's off to the races, baby. It's off. Have the defense backpedaling. And if you got to pull it back out, pull it back out. But see what you get by, by pushing the defense back quickly and see what opportunities may become available for a quick for a quick snipe, a quick shot, a quick opportunity. And I love what Russ does there. Coming off the bench, 15, 11, and 12. You know what I mean? And he, he got the bulk of the minutes, too. You know, lately I've been seeing Schroeder get about the same or more minutes than him. Same with Beverly. And I'm just like, huh? Really? These guys can't do what Russ do. If you let Russ do what he do, that's the problem. More so with uh, previous coach. Um, can't even think of his name right now, but yeah, he would. He I always felt like he wasn't utilizing Russ well, but I feel like uh, Darvin Ham is doing a better job at utilizing Russ better. And th- what we've seen here in this game is what I've been preaching all along. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna play him and LeBron together. Because they generally don't play well together. But because nobody wants to tell LeBron, we're going to take the ball out of your hand, let Russ be the facilitator, and Bron, you play off the ball more instead of Russ playing off the ball more. Now, you saw in this game, Russ controlled the ball more, and LeBron came off the ball. And it makes more sense. Russ can't finish off ball. LeBron can finish off ball so let 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 russ make the decisions trust he's going to make the right decision but as long as players are moving and cutting and slashing and doing what they got to do you're putting russ in a better position to get you the ball but if you're going to be stagnant then he's probably gonna have to pull something out of his ass or go for the shot or somebody else do that probably lebron would be the person but um the stagnant offense is not good so whether russ initiates it Russ or initiates it by, you know, bringing defenders in and then kicking out or players are moving, players are shifting, players are cutting. He'll find you. Put the ball in his hands. We've seen him do it year after year after year after year. But I like what I saw here. They let they let Russ do his thing. And the results are what they are. They are what they are. And people might say, oh, this is vintage Russell Westbrook. Oh, well, no, no. This is still Russell Westbrook. He just doesn't have his own team. He sacrificed for LeBron James. He sacrificed for Anthony Davis. He sacrificed for other people, but namely those two. Coming off the bench, taking a lesser role, not as ball dominant as he used to be, but he's still capable of doing this on a night in, night out basis for the most part. Like this isn't, this is still Russell Westbrook. I'm just mad that, you know, I felt like he wasted a good year, a good bit of health last season fucking around with this team that didn't know what the hell they were doing. And even more so this season, to a lesser degree, I would, I would love to see Russ get back to being Russ starting. He is a starter, starting caliber player. You know, take some team that doesn't have much aspiration or not a whole lot of hopes, get them at least into the play and into the playoffs. Maybe get knocked out the first round, maybe win the first round, get knocked out the second round, whatever. Fact of the matter is, he's going to stay on the Lakers ain't winning no championship. So he can stay here not win a championship and take a lesser role or get back to being Russ and still not win a championship, but at least, you know, pushing some other team and, you know, getting his numbers because he ain't, they ain't this, this team ain't winning no championship. So if I, if I like, what am I sacrificing for? Huh? Well, what am I sacrificing to, to maybe hopefully make the play in this year and then get knocked out in the first or second round? Is that what I'm sacrificing for? Fuck out of here. That's how I look at it. But anyway, great game for Russ. Um, we'll see what happens with Anthony Davis, uh, what this injury is. Is it serious? Is he going to miss some time? But, uh, you know, we'll see. But I'm sure Russ is happy to step into a larger role with AD being out. All right. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think about it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.